Oh no. Oh god, guys, the power went out. The power went out. I gotta use my trusty flashlight. And would you look at that? The light's back on. Boom. Light. That's weird. Alright, three script. So I'm just going to start with the stuff I didn't like, and it starts the second you boot up the game. With panic buttons, loud ass BURR! It's annoying, I hate it. It was just terrible, and I, I hated that part. I hated that. Every time I opened up the game, you would just hear that, and it got annoying really fast. So anyways, um, you start up the game, and... Well, you do get that good-ass main theme that all Doom games have. And I, I really did like that main theme. It is amazing, to say the least. Anyways, you get to Mars, and pretty much you go through all your trains, or go through everywhere, you do the things, you do the stuff, and then eventually uh, shit hits the fan pretty hard, and now we have a demon problem. And then you pick up the shotgun. Something I thought it was was terrible. Because it was just completely random. I'm trying to string this back through. And, uh, but anyways, you get the shotgun. And you're either sometimes you're using an actual shotgun or a rubber chicken. It is just one of the two. Shotgun or rubber chicken. Shotgun that shoots chickens. I might try anyway. Um, yeah, and then you fight your way all the way up to the Delta Labs. I did like the story of the game, to be honest, though. Good story. But the whole atmosphere is like, hey guys, guys, you have a flashlight. Oh, hey, you can't use it anymore. You have to wait five minutes for it to reload or whatever BS it was. Anyway, um,. What was I talking about? I don't know. Oh yeah. It, the game's dark, spooky, scary. It's not scary. I may have gotten spooked like two, three times in my total playthrough. But yeah. Other than that, yeah. It's fine. Then, anyways, you fight through the Delta Labs and you eventually find this thing. Right? It's like I think it tried to be the Spider Mastermind, but it failed so miserably. I died a few times to it. I went through the whole game on normal. I definitely got my ass kicked, but that was because the shotgun is terrible. I'll tell you what's not terrible. Plasma rifle. That thing kills. Anyway, you get a shitty Spider Mastermind. I'm not even afraid to say it. I hated it. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. But anyways, uh, once you do that, you keep going. Uh, if you, well, you have a stamina meter for some reason. I don't know why. This is Doom, not Breath of the Wild. Though I wish it was Open World Doom, I'd still be down to play. And anyway, where am I going with this? I don't know. Uh. Yeah, anyway, you fight two Hell Knights, which can pretty much two shot you, which is the only hard enemy in Doom 3, I'm going to be completely honest. And, uh, yeah. And you're, you're finally in hell after like five, six hours of just being on, honest to God, Mars for the first time. But yeah. You were eventually, before that, oh wait, before hell, or, yeah, before hell, you get the big fucking gun. Now it works a bit different, it almost works like the one in 2016, but not quite. You can actually charge it up to shoot 
four full project BFG cells, which I think is really good. I kind of wish it was in the new Doom games, but I mean the BFG time glitch and so. Boy. Hi. Go. Anyway, the whole BFG time glitch. I'll talk about my 2016 review. Anyway, uh, so you eventually go into hell for five minutes, and then you fight this boss called the Guardian to get the Soul Cube. It was an easy boss fight. It was, I didn't, I did it twice because I thought I lost every, cause like I thought that game glitch where you go back to this, out of hell, and you lose all your items again. I thought I messed. I thought the game glitch. So I had to redo. I redid the boss fight. I did it twice, and died like maybe two times in total. So you eventually get the soul cube, which it's a cube that you throw at enemies, and pretty much. Uh, it takes health from them while killing them. But you save it for the arch files. That, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Just save it for the arch files. Please do that. Also, if you die in this game, you go back to your last manual save. So if you it's like close to the end of the level and you die, and you didn't save at all, you have to go back to the beginning of the level where you last main save. Or sometimes the game will automatically save, but yeah, the chances of that are very rare. Ugh, for it. Anyways, um, eventually you get to these caves where you eventually get to the Cyber Demon, but before that, get the uh, it brick and the uh, developer PDA, which in my opinion makes the game worth playing. Because um, early insurance against alien invasion and uh, early invasion against an alien invasion and part time rocket scientist John Carmack was like, Yeah, we're gonna make this game, you're all getting fired. So, yeah. Thanks, thanks, John. Anyway, so yeah. And then you eventually fight the Cyber Demon. Hell, it was the mightiest warrior. Remember that thin fur. Boy! Boy! Hang it up. You remember that thing in Doom 1 and Doom 2? It was like big and tall and scary. It is a like pushover. I beat him on the third cycle where you have to. You can only damage him with the soul cube. You just charge up the soul cube by killing five demons and then you just shoot him and then he dies. Sorry, demons in Doom 1. Boy! Anyway, uh, and then. You see Dr. Palpatine, which is so obvious in the bag, and right? his head is in the mouth of a dragon, and then he just flies off, and that's the ending. I, I, I can't make this up if I tried. I wish I did. I wish I could make this up. <sighs> God, I'm getting tired just thinking about Doom 3. Anyways, I might play the, I might, I might do a review on all of the Doom DLCs, but... I don't know. I really do not know. If I do, I do. I don't, I don't. I'm probably, I might, might not do Die Flush consumed in that series. Because pretty much, I already talked about it, you know. Road to Ancient Gods Part 1, Doom 1. But yeah. Anyway. But yeah, it leaves you on a cliffhanger. And that's why I don't like the ending of this game. The story was great until the ending, where Dr. Palpatine is just a giant dragon, and he flies off, which sucks. And it's in DLC. Then I might play. I might not play. But yeah, next up, Doom 64. <laughs> Return to Doom. True Doom. I've already started it. I've gotten to the secret level heretic. It is pain with the Yeah, never mind, I'll talk about it later with the four third or no, yeah, four out nights. A little steep thing. No, I hated that. I hate that. I haven't beat it. I've come close, but I still haven't beat it. But anyways, that's that that is a whole other thing. I probably will review Doom 64 and the Lost Hills together. So yeah.
And overall, what do I think of Doom 3? I think if it's off her just re... I think if they just made like a Doom-type spinoff game, not set in the Doom universe, actually, but if they just renamed all the enemies, didn't call it Doom 3, it would totally work as a new IP. I think it would have been amazing if they just fixed everything up. And, uh, yeah. That, that's all I got for Doom 3. It was... It was a slog, about eight, nine hours, I think. I didn't get the trophy for being in under ten hours, so if you're as bad at the games as I am, I mean, it's easy. Yeah, I think I might do more Larry videos. I might not. He hates me for doing it, but hey, he deserves it. So yeah, that's about all I got, so I'll see you when I see you. I'm not going to take him another few months, I don't know, I spent too long away from Road to Tag 2, and Ancient Gods 2 has been out for a few months already, so, yeah, did a bad job on that one, god damn, we had to spend quite a few months since the last Road to Tag 2, because I just didn't want to play Doom 3 at all. I really did. So, but if you enjoyed the video for some reason, uh, please leave a like. At a hundred thousand subs, I'll play. Or at a at ten thousand subscribers, I'll play through every God of War game. And well, I don't know. I have sub milestones in mind. I may have like forty three subs in a year and a half. That's actually really good. Anyways, uh, I'm 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 gonna be out. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, or don't. I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do, so. I uh, drink your milk.